Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this week to This Georgia Clay. Um, so in this week's vlog, you're going to see some updates with our Halloween decor and fall decor as well. Um, I know that I said that I probably wouldn't have time to sneak in a Halloween, uh, Halloween video, but I did so much with the porch and we did some cute little DIYs that I wanted to share with you guys. So we're making a vlog. Um, last week, we did not have a vlog because of some family um, circumstances that came up. Uh, today, Matt's grandmother did pass away, so you probably won't see us next week as well. Um, so as we take this time to heal as a family and to be there for his family and support him, um, I appreciate all of you guys. So please understand that we will be back eventually with more DIYs and projects and things like that. But um, when it comes to things like this, family always comes first. Uh, so getting into this, we got our first family um, fan mail is what my daughter called it. <laughs> so our subscriber and also she is a Fisher Home homeowner as well. And she is currently building a Calvin. Um, either she's building a Calvin or her Calvin is done. No, her Calvin is done. I'm sorry, Meg. Uh, so her Calvin is completed and she's working on doing some DIYs of her own and she gets inspiration from my home as well as other Fisher home owners as well. She did send over a little bit of fan mail to us, so I appreciate it. So thank you so much. She kept with my theme of black and white and so she said when she reached out to me that she wanted to send it to me and I gave her my personal address. We right now don't have a PO box, but I am working on getting one. As we reach 10,000 subscribers, I feel like that's like the perfect timing to allow you guys to send any type of mail that you guys want to send or gifts or whatever the case may be. It doesn't, you know, um, that you guys can send to me. And then also I would love to see like letters and, and pictures of DIYs that we might um, have inspired in your home so you guys can share with me as well. Um, so I think that'll be cool. So for our 10,000 subscriber, we're going to do a giveaway. But as of right now, I do not know what the giveaway is going to be. Um, like I said, I've always said this multiple times. Um, we are very humble with our channel. It's just something that we love to do and showing, you know, things within our home. Now we do it for clients as well. And it's just, we didn't think that we were going to be at 10,000 subscribers. So, um, I never planned on what I would do if that, if our channel grew to how large it is now. So I am still thinking about that and I will let you guys know as soon as we hit that mark, um, any details of what I decide at that point. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. is Brooklinen. I was super ecstatic when they reached out again and wanted to partner with us on another sheet set. I did pick the Lux Hardcore Bundle, um, but this time I did choose the color cream. As you guys seen in my last previous vlog, I chose white with them and that was a great summer color. It was nice, fresh, and breezy. Um, this time around, I wanted to choose a color that was warm as the weather is changing. This morning when we woke up in Georgia, it was about 32 degrees and um, it's getting quite cold. So I wanted to change it up and, and change to a color that was more um, just warm and inviting in our space. So I did choose a cream color. So I went online to Brooklinen and I chose the Lux Hardcore Bundle. I love this bundle because it comes with a lot of core pieces that you need, which are the two extra pillowcases, and the bundle itself comes with a duvet cover. It also comes with a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and two pillowcases as well. I just love how that color bounces off of our bed. It just seems to go with the fall season. Let's talk pricing. While the Classic and Lux Hardcore Bundle cost between $200 to $250, depending on the size of bed, and again, this is a king bed, you have to think that any luxury sheets, like real luxury sheets, are costing $500 and upwards. So it was important for me to invest in some pieces that were gonna stand the test of time and make sure that they were just practical, they also felt great, 
And so, you know, we spend most of our time in the bed. Why not, you know, enjoy making a luxurious bed so that way we can sleep well at night. Let's talk about the sheets. So the feel of them, they're very lightweight. I love how they feel against my skin. I love cuddling up at night. Um, they're not heavy weighted, so they don't carry a lot of heat or tend to hold a lot of heat. If you're someone that sweats at night, these are the perfect set for you. Um, but yet they still keep you warm enough in those winter months. I absolutely love the bedding. I think that the color matches perfectly with our color scheme in our room, with the creams and the neutrals. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And especially for the fall and winter season, it just goes seamlessly. And then when spring comes, then I can transfer over back to my white um, set as well. So in order to save on your set now, there'll be a link in the description, saving $20 off $100 or more using this code, this Georgia Clay. Enjoy. So those of you that have been around for a while, you do know that before I decorate any space, I like to start with a nice clean canvas. So I'm just cleaning the mud room, preparing, and also at the same time thinking about what I was actually going to do. Um, sometimes I have my ideals already figured out as far as where I'm going to, what I'm going to decorate um, certain spaces and how it's going to be um, completed. But for this one, you'll see sometimes where I'm stopping and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I have everything that I envision in this space, but how am I going to actually make it come alive? Um, so I'm just thinking like, what am I going to do with this? Especially with that cobweb, it kind of threw me for a loop um, because I wasn't expecting it to be difficult to um, like handle. And so like I said, I, I won't be using this again. But um, at first it was just not coming out right. I kept moving it around in different areas. I was getting a little frustrated. I'm like, what am I doing? Um, so yeah, eventually your girl figured it out, but it was, it was rough.
So here I am again trying to make this work. I'm telling you I was struggling with that. I don't know what was going on. It was just not stretching. It just kept lumping up. <laughs> it just didn't look right. I don't know. Maybe that's just not my thing to deal with cobwebs. Um, something that drapes around I don't know but I do know I need to figure something out because I would love to have like you know fake snow during Christmas um, but yeah I'm just standing there you know questioning my life choices right now with that um, spider web So as you guys know, I love to have cohesive spaces within our home. So I wanted to bring within our mud room um, the same thing of a witch's theme this year. Um, so I bought in some witch's hats that I had left over that I bought from Amazon and I decided to hang them here. Um, at first I was using some regular command hooks and I was hooking them using a fishing line, but then they kept falling. Um, so I didn't even know that command sells ceiling hooks. So I have ceiling hooks that are placed throughout here. They'll stay up all season long because I will be doing something really cute in here at Christmas as well. Um, so I didn't know that they had that. So that's something you guys can get. They are called ceiling hooks. I got them on Amazon as well. I bought two packs. They come in a pack of three, um, but I only utilize three. So I have three more to use um, throughout the season when Christmas comes. And so within this space, I added in spiders as well. So these spiders I did get from Target, they were 10 bucks and I felt like they were pretty big and they were pretty substantial for $10. They are made for indoor and outdoor as well. So I placed a spider here and then another one up in the corner. Um, I got the cobwebs from Target as well and that was only four bucks. Um, it was not my favorite thing to install. I got everywhere. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll be using this again. I think that they do have another concept where it's more like a, a rag kind of look of a cobweb. So it's more like a fabric rather than this kind of cobweb type. So I think I'll use that next year. Um, but I also found this cute pumpkin from Walmart. It was $20 and it is ceramic and this thing is heavy. So it does have a hole here where you can put in some tea lights, which I did. They are set on a timer. So they do come on around, I would say about 6.30 every day and it lights up this space. I also have tea lights within each corner of the witches hats as well that come on as well, just to create the space a little fun. 
um though my kids when i first did it they just walked right past it from the garage and i had to keep telling everyone like can you please look at all the work that i did so maybe next year i will take the same kind of concept and put it in the foyer since they do walk through the um main part of the foyer um every day rather than the garage so that way it gets appreciated more than being in the mudroom um i also had warned them about putting their shoes in the mudroom is that it is off limits for this season so that means halloween thanksgiving and christmas <laughs> so don't put anything here and so in order to make this more functional next year i think i'm going to do something just dim it down a little bit uh, still allow them to put their shoes and things here but mainly focus on the foyer and the um console area to decorate so yeah i think it was really cute i also included some bats as well i figured some bats got caught within the spider's web i have this spider coming down from the ceiling as if it's crawling to get you um, and then I put a little bat on the mudroom sign as well. So I think that it came out really good. It was just something cute and fun. I think if my kids were a little bit smaller, they would appreciate it a little bit more. Um, but I love it. And that's pretty much I did it for my own enjoyment. So um, have you guys heard of the ghost cage viral that's going around? Um, so it's ghosts made out of tomato cages. But in keeping with my theme, I did witches. So I went ahead and did a little spin on that. So let's go ahead and get into that now. Okay, so I went around to like two or three different stores to get all of the pieces that were required for this. And it was so funny because one of the stores I went into Michael's and then I asked the guy, cause I was originally gonna use for the hid um, a foam spear. And he was like, are you making those tomato cage ghost things? <laughs> and I started laughing because he obviously knew there was so many other people that were in there trying to get the same thing as well. Um, but each store that I went to, they would have one of the hids, but they didn't have another that was the same size and I didn't want to do two different hits on the witches because then that would just be weird and not fair to the other witch with a smaller hit. Um, so I went ahead and Matt told me, he was like, um, what really actually I was at Michael's and I ended up looking on YouTube and I found a very similar hack to this and she was using the Halloween bucket. So Matt was saying, well, why don't you go to Walmart and see if they still have them? So I went to my local Walmart and I was fortunate that they still had the Halloween buckets. It was only about, I think, 97 cents or so, um, maybe a little bit more, but anyhow. It, um, so I went ahead and purchased two of them and then that's how I was able to form the heads of the witches. Also, I am not good at uh, tying bows. So Matt had to bring up a YouTube video. YouTube is our friend, I use it too, um, to, find out how to tie a bow but your girl cannot get the second bow I did it the first time but for some reason like my mind had like a mental block <laughs> I could not figure out the second time at all so Matt had to tie the bow on the second witch and I just kind of fixed it so I don't know what's going on with that but I do want to learn how to do more bows and things like that so that way when Christmas rolls around and I start decorating next week I can have beautiful presents for my family. But with this witch um, hack, I absolutely love how they came out. They look so cute. I think next year I'll change it up and you know we're gonna do a different um, theme, but if I ever do bring back the witches, I most certainly will do this again, but maybe next time I'll make the witches one taller and one smaller, or I'll enhance them and make them a little bit more grander. So I um, hope that you love how that came out. I absolutely love it. I think my witches look so cute out here on the porch. I love when we have to go take our daughter to work and come back and we see everything all lit up and it looks so nice. Um, I keep them down because we have been getting quite a bit of um, weather by either some stain and paint. So it comes in handy being a DIYer because I can use those items to secure my other DIY projects. Um, 
But as far as the witches hats, I love it for this theme for this season. Next year we'll change to something else as well. But I really think that it pops against our white exterior of our home. Um, so that was the theme and I love anything Hocus Pocus. So I wanted to do witches this year. And it was only fitting because Hocus Pocus 2 came out. So I figured we would do that as our theme. Um, so out here on the porch, uh, we have some mums. My mums are kind of trash because when it gets windy here on the porch, it, can, it carries a lot of wind that comes through. So the mums have taken a tumble into the planter. So I'm trying to revive them a little bit, um, but they're a little beat up, but they're still thriving. So that's good. They're still yellow <laughs> for the most part. This, if you guys are familiar, used to be out on our deck, but I did bring it out here because on the deck it was getting rained on. So it was changing colors from black to brown. So I bought it here because it's covered underneath our, our porch. So I figured it'd be better out here. And then the candle also lights up at night. So it creates another mood out here as well. Each of the hats have a tea light under them. Under them, um, They all come on at different times because it took me a while to do all of them. So by the time I turned on the tea light, they all come on around about five to 10 minutes apart from each other. So it is what it is. Um, I also have this uh, skeleton here. So he was another little option. I put a little witch's hat on him as well. And he just waves to our neighbors. His light, his eyes light up as well. So cute for the kids. Um, so I'm pretty sure they'll get a, a good little laugh at that when Halloween does come. So yeah, so I just figured to keep it nice and fresh and, and pretty. And as well, I have some bats on the windows as well. Um, again, keeping the same theme in the mud room out here. Even though I did this one first, I just wanted to make sure that everything went together. I think they look really cute. I have fixed these hats. I don't know how many times um, I did use some thumbtacks up in the ceiling for them. I should have put like a piece of tape. I've seen people do that as well. It helps to secure them a little bit better. But I mean, it gives me something to do. I come out here and fix them. Um, Matt said that it was a whole project, but I don't mind it. So yeah, it's something that I can do within my own home and it gives me peace to come out here and fix it up. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Again, thank you so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. I don't know when we will be back, but when we do come back, uh, we'll have some fun updates for you guys. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, share it with a friend. We'll see you guys uh, when we come back. Bye guys.